Today's video, I want to talk about the ugly truth that heating and air guys will never tell you. I am a heating and air professional, and I think it's important to note this, regardless of where you are in the country, that this is an ugly truth in our industry that a lot of homeowners are not quite aware of. And that is most heating and air guys, because of their background, because of how they got into this trade, they actually know very little about air quality. And we're going to talk about why that is, what the ins and outs of that are, and what you can do as the homeowner when you are dealing with some of these contractors moving forward to avoid some of these issues. First of all, my name is Josh. If you've never seen any of my videos, I host the HVAC Guide for Homeowners YouTube channel. And if you haven't seen us before, please hit that subscribe button for more HVAC tips in the industry. But let's get started. Why is this a big ugly truth and why should it matter to you as a homeowner? The first thing is let's back up and talk about how most heating and air guys get into this industry and why this is a problem. And I would say that most heating and air guys, when they get into this industry, even if they've been doing it a while, most of them got into it by being someone's apprentice or helper whatever verbiage you want to use, but they kind of started from the bottom, now we're here, right? Maybe they were just the guy that would get tools off the truck. And a lot of guys, when they get into this industry, depending on what journey they take, a lot of them might have very little to do with the air quality side of things. And you might say, why should that matter? We'll talk about that in a second. But a lot of these guys might start out as, say, a guy just doing duct work as a helper. Or maybe they did start out on the electrical side of things, maybe on the service side of things, moving a little quicker through all this. But again, they just learn how to fix air conditioners. They learn how to install ductwork and they might move from say installs to service. And even if they work their way up to owning a business, most exposure that a lot of us get in the industry, unless they go any further to taking classes and learning more about what it means to have certain mold spores in your home and comparing that to the outdoor air. Most heating and air guys don't even know what VOCs are or why that should matter or what the issues are with humidity levels. They might know what it means from a comfort standpoint, but maybe not so much from an air quality standpoint. So unless they take that initiative to take classes on building science and some of the issues that homeowners face today, in a lot of cases, they don't know much about these types of problems. Because of that, where does that put you as the homeowner? You might have a heating and air guy in your home. He might say, I've got this product, it cleans the air, or it purifies the air, or it filters the air and all these different things. But how do you know if any of these products work? How would the heating and air guy know if any of these products work? And what do you do as the homeowner to avoid spending money on something that just simply doesn't do anything for you? It's just a sales tactic. I have that answer. Most heating and air guys can get their hands on some sort of air monitor or air testing machine. And some of these machines can be quite complicated pretty extravagant, but some of them, even on a basic level, can at least measure humidity levels, particulates, and things like that in the air, and they can actually look at the problem, give you a solution to fix the problem, and then test it again after the problem to see if it actually did anything to help you. It's one thing to say, hey, I smell an odor in my house. They sell you a product, and then you decide whether the odor went away or not. But it's another thing to actually say, is there a problem? Is there a safety issue? Is there something I'm breathing that we can actually remedy? And you're not just throwing mud on the wall. You're not just buying a UV light for your heating and air system, which by the way, I think UV lights are great, but they have their purpose and they may not be your solution to all things going on in your home. So find a heating and air guy. If he doesn't have one of these air monitors or air testing machines, he can get one. It's okay if he doesn't have one, he can get one. I'll even put a link down in this description to one in case you want to get one yourself. Some of them can be quite pricey, but they might be worth it in the end, especially if you're somebody that is concerned about this for one reason or another. And then finally, I'll wrap up with Daikin is the brand that we sell at Griffin Air. And they were one of, I, I could be wrong on this, but I believe they're one of the only companies and definitely one of the first companies to come out with an air monitor that actually connects to the heating and air system and multiple components. They call it their Daikin ecosystem and it can tell the thermostat, hey, there's an issue here and the thermostat can remedy it by turning on a component, cleaning the air differently, turning on the system to pull some air across there to filter it or whatever that solution is to that problem. 
but it has the capability of being able to test that air, know that there's an issue, and then alert you or remedy it itself. Let me know your thoughts if you're watching this video. Is air quality a problem? Is it something that you're concerned about? And have you been sold snake oil products, mud on the wall type products in the past by heating and air professionals not knowing if it was going to actually fix your issue? I'd love to hear about that. Comment down below. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.